The Marvel Legends Insomniac Spider-Man sucks. And I'm tired of pretending it doesn't. But people are gonna buy it anyway, because it's Spider-Man. Me? No, not this time. They put no effort into this figure. This figure's objectively awful in every regard. Its mere existence is insulting to me, and I'm gonna tell you why. The fact of the matter is this figure is not accurate to the game at all. Look at Spider-Man from the video game, and now look at this figure. They look about as similar as me to Henry Cavill. Like, yeah, we both have black hair and shit, but if a girl was expecting to go on a date with Henry Cavill and my ass showed up, she'd be so disappointed. She'd feel robbed and cheated. Kinda like me when I first saw this piece of shit. Spider-Man in the PlayStation game has a texture on the costume that goes throughout the entire body. The lines that separate the red and blue parts of the costume are raised. The web pattern is indented into the suit. Now look at the figure. Nothing is fucking sculpted on there. Not even all the details are on it. It's like they simplified it. It's like they based this figure off the Halloween costume instead of the one actually used in the game. But even the Halloween costume has details that the figure doesn't have. Even the spider symbol is printed on. You know, the symbol that the Spider-Man game developers said is made of carbon fiber. Then you have this amazing icon right on your chest. The white spider is made out of a flexible carbon fiber material. Duh, just paint it white. It's also on his gauntlets and also on his feet. So Nah, just paint that shit. When you look at his shoe, it actually looks like a sneaker. A sneaker? What the fuck is that? You'll see that he actually has a web shooter that actually snaps in to that bracelet that he's always wearing. From the beginning. <laughs> there is a specific reason for everything about the suit. Well, I'm sorry, Spider-Man game developers. The company making your action figure don't care about all that hard work you put into the suit. They care about saving money. Rather than making a brand new body with all the details this version of Spider-Man has in the game, they decided it would be easier to just grab this Spider-Man body and slap on a new coat of paint. Yeah, they won't notice. They'll buy it anyway because they love Spider-Man. They'll give us their money no matter what. Yeah. yeah. You're telling me you couldn't even put in the effort? Didn't even try. Just print it on, ship it out. Who cares? Well, I care. I care a lot, actually. The only new part that Hasbro made for this figure is the head and they even ruined that. You know, if the webs aren't connected on the prototype, what makes you think the final figure is gonna be good? It doesn't even really look like Spider-Man from the video game. It just kind of looks like a generic Spider-Man head because there's no fucking detail on it. So yeah, this figure sucks. In fact, I knew it sucked from day one when they showed the 3D render on a live stream. I was the first one to say it sucks. The Marvel Legends fans did not like that. Marvel Legends fans, especially the Spider-Man ones, are a different type of breed. It doesn't matter how little of a shit Hasbro gives to the figures they make. You say anything negative about them, they will fuck you up, dude. These people will defend them through the end of time. Why do they do this? I don't know. That's what no pussy does to a motherfucker. When I first called out the fact that this figure was just a lazy repaint, you had people calling me a jackass. Rare criminal L, as they would put it. If talking bad about this figure gives me an L, then I guess I'm about to take a few more. This figure sucks harder than your mom last night. Believe it or not, I'm not hating on this figure just to be a dickhead. I'm calling out Hasbro for being lazy. For two seconds, just ignore the fact that this is, ooh, a brand new Spider-Man figure. Ooh, so shiny. And look at the figure for what it really is. Nah, fuck you, I'ma buy it anyway. Before you write that comment, I'm gonna tell you why you're wrong and I'm right. But Spider Criminal, it's just a Marvel Legends. You can't expect sculpting work from them. Uh, no bitch, I can't expect that from them. They make these things called MCU figures, and sometimes they have even more complex designs than one Spider-Man costume. You can't tell me not to expect a new body when they revealed this shit today. Diamond Select made a brand new body. Yeah, sure, it's not 100% accurate, but at least they tried. They gave the eyes lenses. The webbing is sculpted. The spider symbol is a separate sculpt it has all the lines and it actually has the sneakers on the bottom of the feet and the web shooter hey look at that that wasn't so hard was it yeah but that's marvel select not marvel legends they don't make new bodies for this game
They really gave the worst suit in the game a new body, ain't that some shit? You can't tell me they couldn't make a new figure when Miles Morales exists. This figure is proof that it can be done. This figure is an all new sculpt and every detail is there. And not just that, it has a texture throughout the entire body. Something the select figure didn't even have. And this figure is great. Do you blame me for expecting a new body with the Peter Parker figure? This figure got everything right, like the spider symbol. But now the spiders put on like a fucking stamp. You're overreacting. This is a $20 Marvel Legend. What did you expect? And therein lies the problem. This isn't a $20 Marvel Legend. Oh no, if this was only $20, then I could at least sort of understand why you would still buy it. This figure's up for pre-order right now on Hasbro Pulse, and he is going to retail for $34.99. And with shipping, that is about $40. With tax, it's almost up to $40. No way in fucking hell. Maybe you could have gotten away with this lazy reuse if it was just a regular bland release. But no, you decided to charge a premium price for this shit? Do you take me for a fool? Was the price of the new head justifiable enough for the new price? Yeah, it looks like that cost a lot of money to make. And this is where all counter arguments go out the window. No matter who you are, there is no justifying this price. You can be the biggest Hasbro dick rider on the planet. And you can't justify this. All you can really do is say, yeah, I know it's expensive, but I bought it anyway, right? Oh, I'm getting the Marvel Legends because it's in my price range. Well, it's better than paying $100 for an import figure. No, shut the fuck up, you pussy. To really put this price into perspective, do you know what else is $34.99? The SH Figure Arts, Son Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, Piccolo, Naruto, Japanese import figures are $34.99. They have done it, ladies and gentlemen. Hasbro is now charging import prices for their pieces of shit. With figure arts, you get almost six pairs of hands, other faces. It's no comparison. You're actually getting something for your money with the figure arts. The Marvel Legends is just blatantly overpriced. Actually, the Marvel Legends comes with web accessories, so that's why it's $34.99. The web accessories? You mean these things that cost like 99 cents to make? These are reused too, by the way. Why would they make new web accessories for this figure? Like this stupid web accessory that's been reused since 2012. That's almost 11 years ago. And the hands? Well, you get fists, you get one thwipping hand and one wall crawling hand. Just one of each for each side of his arms. That's it. They didn't even come in pairs. <laughs> Your $25 Marvel Legends come with three pairs of hands and this one only comes with one and a half. Walt, please, please just hear me out, please. What the fuck is wrong with you? The Marvel Select Spider-Man came with four pairs of hands, a spider bot and a cell phone. Your Miles Morales figure comes with four pairs of hands and an unmasked head. And that figure was $20. I think it's safe to say that they could have included a bit more with this figure, don't you think? So you can be delusional and think there's actually a reason for them charging this much, but I know the actual reason. I know why this figure came out as astastic as it did. They charged almost $40 for this figure because they knew they could get away with it. They knew people would buy this figure, no matter what, because it's Spider-Man from the new video game, no less. Why would they put effort into this figure when it's pretty much guaranteed to sell? They did this exact thing in 2019. The first version of this figure is exactly the same. Instead of it reusing the Renew Your Vows body, it reuses the Sunfire body, and like this new figure, the only new thing was the head sculpt. All the details are printed on, deja vu. It even came with the exact same web accessories 
this new one is gonna come with. But at least that one knew to include pairs of hands instead of mix matching them like some Mr. Potato Head bullshit. Here it is with a better head sculpt and it looks almost identical to the new one coming out. They didn't care then and they don't care now. That is what busts my balls the most. The reason I was pissed when this figure was revealed. They thought we would just buy it and accept it. And you know what? They were kinda right, because there's people who are gonna do exactly that. That's what Hasbro wanted. Where's the respect in that? If they don't respect me enough to make a brand new figure, why should I respect them by buying this piece of shit? This caca pee pee of a figure. But it's pinless and it has toe joints! So yeah, I'm not hearing anyone out. Go ahead and write the longest paragraph of a comment you can, because there is nothing you can say that will convince me that this figure is good. Not buying this, not even for a joke, so don't even ask. I'd rather put my ball sack in the garbage disposal. In fact, I bought a custom head instead of buying this figure. They really thought they could put no effort into this figure, and we'd still buy it. No, well if you hate the figure so much, then don't buy it. That's just the way it is, stop crying. Oh, you lovely people. You still don't get it, do you? The reason why I'm so vocal about this is because if you don't complain about something, they will not improve. They'll just do it again. Was that clear enough for you? I'm gonna say it again. If you do not call out Hasbro for the stuff that they do, they will just do it again. But hey, you're gonna buy it anyway, right? Because it's Spider-Man.